Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog, and today we have the second weekend box office numbers, and I'm sorry I've been late on videos. I've been battling some major fatigue this past week, uh, basically, for those who don't know what that is, it's like an extreme overwhelming sense of tiredness that usually comes after head injuries and things. I've been battling it for years, and sometimes it gets really, really bad, and I think it's just because lately there's been a little bit more stress at work. I've been working more hours than I'm used to for the past four weeks now trying to earn a spot to become a full-time employee. So I don't know if it'll get any better <laughs> for sure. I think uh, most nights I'm just going to come home, walk Echo, and go right to bed. And so I might not have a ton of time for videos on weekends, like super busy weekends. But I'll try to make up for that or catch up on the days that I do have off. And every now and again, I'll try to take a Wednesday off if I can so I can have three days to recharge and make some videos and get some other stuff done, you know, in my personal life. And then before, you know, before I go back into work and stuff. So I'll find a balance. It's just we're just at the starting of it and I got to figure out, you know, a good schedule. So we're working on it and, you know, I'll do my best to make sure I still have some content at least record it in the bag for you guys. Even if you don't see my face, I'll try to record some audio on my phone or something or on my mic if I if I have the ability to come and sit for at the computer for a while. And I'll definitely, you know, make sure I have videos for you guys at least every week. It might fluctuate. Some weeks you might get a lot of videos. Some weeks you, may get, you know, might get a few. But hopefully it all balances out at the end of the month. So, uh, so for now, though, I'll have more Ven uh, Venom comic book discussions about my Costa stuff. I'll have that coming up soon. But I'm going to focus on this here, the uh, the box office numbers. Every, you know, Monday or Tuesday, I'll try to give you the box office numbers from, you know, the past weekend. And then also um, my spoiler review for the movie will finally go up on Friday um, in a couple days from now. So uh, make sure you stay tuned for that. That'll be my spoiler review. That'll be October 15th when it's releasing, you know, in the UK and other countries and territories around the world. So I'll put up my spoiler review then. But my spoiler review will not have the post credit scene in it. Uh, I will talk about the post credit scene in a separate video, and I'll release that next Monday. Um, so that will be the 18th, I think, of October. So, so that's my plan for now. And I'll try to stick to that. And then in between, if I can get some Mike Costa videos out to you, I definitely will. So for today, we have the second weekend box office numbers for Venom. And I want to give a side mention real quick to James Bond, which came out this weekend, which I thought was going to put a huge dent in Venom. And it did put a dent in Venom. But not a huge dent. I think a lot of people went out last week to go see Venom, Let There Be Carnage. I mean, like that movie made $90 million in the U.S. opening weekend, which was insane. I mean, it set a new record for the pandemic, and it almost beat the previous record pre-pandemic, which was Joker. It only, you know, it was only $6 million away from beating Joker, a rated R, you know, movie about the Joker, uh, which was, you know, very well received when it came out. So that's amazing that it did that well opening weekend. So of course we were going to get a big drop. But what they've been saying during the pandemic is, whereas normally like a 50 to 60% drop is like the average for most movies before the pandemic, um, it would always be bad if you went into like the 60s or 70s. Well, during the pandemic, they kind of, you know, changed that a little bit because, you know, some movies were averaging a 60% drop second weekend. So they then dubbed that 70% or more was the bad thing. So as long as you didn't get 70% or more, then your movie still had some legs on it. So it looks like Venom still has some legs. Uh, it only dropped, well, I won't say only, it's, it's still a big drop, but 64.5%. So, you know, between 64 and 65%, like right in the middle. So it was close. It made $32.5 million domestic, you know, this weekend. And then it opened in a couple other places around the world, some place in South America. I know it had a big opening in Russia. So this movie has legs. And right now it's total cum, I guess, of, uh, of money it's made is $185 million, like 0.6, I think, 185.6. But we'll just, you know, we'll say it's 185. So that's pretty good for like 11 days, you know, after its release. Um, that's about on par with other things like Shang-Chi, which has been doing pretty well, minus a China release. Um, Black Widow, which also did pretty well, minus a China release. And now James Bond is also kind of up here and doing really well because it opened in the UK last weekend and it did really well in the UK, like a, almost, you know, I think it was over $100 million dollars internationally and then it came here to the u.s but it only hit 56 million james bond and that's not great i mean it's not i think for pandemic it's not bad but i mean i'm not an analyst i'm not like a movie analyst so i leave it to the experts but a lot of them were saying that for a james bond movie this is not that good especially after a big weekend like venom they were hoping we, they would have another big weekend but i think the smartest move and i said this before was that venom bumped up two weeks because i feel like People wanted one, at least one movie to go see and, you know, celebrate really big. And then after that, they will probably just wait for stuff on VOD. 
And it seemed like Venom just moved up into that right spot. Now we'll see what happens with Halloween next weekend. If that makes, you know, 60, 70 million, that would be amazing for that type of movie, for rated R uh, horror movie. That would be amazing. And maybe people will go out and celebrate that too. But for now, at least, uh, until we know those numbers, we have Venom here still standing pretty strong at a 64.5% drop uh, from its first weekend. And then so with 32.5 million, everything reaching about 185 million. Now we have coming up the UK, which is a big market. And so we could see some big numbers from the UK. So if you're over there, go see this movie. Uh, go support our, our favorite symbiotes uh, and, and your favorite symbiote, whichever one, whether it's Venom or Carnage, and go root them on and check out the movie and then stay for the post credit scene. And again, no spoilers down below. We're not ready to talk about that yet. We'll talk about that a week from this video going up. So next, I'll do a box office video next Monday, and then maybe later that night, I'll have a, um, you know, the, the post credit scene video to talk about. So next Monday, we'll have two vid the Venom vlogs for you, and we can talk about it every day after that, uh, for sure. Uh, but for now, at least, or at least any videos, I mark spoilers. But for now, I, this is a non-spoiler video, so we're not going to get into the movie. But this is just great news. I'm very excited for the movie. I'm glad it's still holding up, you know, 64.5% drop. Like I said, it, it hurts a little, but not as much. If this was like, you know, pre-pandemic, this would be a little rougher. Uh, but this is about on par with a lot of movies uh, that have, you know, had these kind of drops. You know, even big movies like Black Widow and Shang-Chi. So, uh, so I'm, I'm still hopeful this movie could have some good legs. You know, maybe if it drops another 50% next weekend when Halloween comes out, you know, that's another $15 million to add on. So that already throws it over the $200 million. And that's not counting anything it gets internationally next weekend. And then I think, I haven't seen full on news if this was releasing in China yet. I know they're trying to get it released in China because Shang-Chi didn't. I think Black Widow didn't. I think China's kind of boycotting Marvel, but I don't know if that affects Sony Marvel. Uh, so I don't know. I thought I saw a Hong Kong release date. So at least in that territory, um, you know, and over that a region of China, like at least it'll release there, I think. But I don't know if I'm reading IMDb wrong or if that's accurate information or not. Um, so let me know if any of you out there know that if it's going to play in China, let me know because that could give this movie a huge boost, uh, you know, towards uh, hopefully a billion dollars. But I don't know. I mean, it, this at least hits what the first movie hit. That'll be a major success because unlike James Bond, where that movie cost two hundred and fifty million to make and another like two hundred million to market and everything, uh, then this is you know this is pretty good because Venom: Let There Be Carnage cost one hundred and ten million to make, and I know some people are going to say, oh well, then they already earned their budget back. Well, not really. They only for the opening weekends they only make about fifty percent of the ticket sales, so they would have to you know cross the two hundred and twenty million dollar marker to you know get its budget back which it's about to do um but then there's also the marketing budget which could be another 50 to 100 million dollars for this movie um they didn't have to market it as much because of the pandemic but they still did pump a lot out in the last couple weeks with this movie uh marketing wise uh, but a lot of it was online and a lot of it was like zoom interviews and stuff so that doesn't cost too much money uh compared to other things uh but they did do a couple premieres and a couple things like that so they did they did spend some money you know bus stop signs all that stuff uh but uh but they didn't spend as much as they probably would have pre pandemic so i would say there's probably still about 75 million so if as long as this movie crosses like 400 or 500 million it'll definitely be in the profit zone at that point and i think as long as it keeps having big weekends like it did here and hopefully in the uk this coming weekend like upcoming that will just be all good you know everything will be coming up millhouse for this movie for sure but uh, let me know what you think you know this is just a, a quick you know update and you know just kind of my thoughts on things and uh, and kind of give you a little bit of peek at some of the other box office next week i would say venom's well uh, i wouldn't say it's a competition but they do share somewhat uh you know male demographics uh for the most part um, there is Halloween Kills. And I know a lot of you out there are big fans of both Venom and, you know, Halloween and Michael Myers. So I'm sure you're going to go see Halloween. Um, so let me know in the comments. Are you pumped for Halloween? If you've already seen Venom, how many times have you seen Venom by now? I've seen it twice. I was going to go a third time, but I, I think I'll save it for maybe next weekend or the weekend after. I need things to cool down in my personal life first. Uh, so I don't like, you know, overdo myself, uh, but I will definitely see it a third time before it goes out of the theaters and maybe a fourth time if I have the money, but definitely a third time for sure. That's uh, a support it one more time but you guys let me know how many times you've seen venom are you you know don't tell me you know mostly your thoughts on the movie save that if you can for when i do my spoiler review on friday and if you want to give me your own review of the movie you can always email me at parasite podcast or the parasite podcast at gmail send me like a three paragraph keep each paragraph like five lines in email form if you want to send me just a text and i'll read it as your review or if you want to send me an audio link or your own YouTube video that's like, you know, under five minutes or something like that, 
Whatever it is, let me know what it is. Send it to me uh, at the Parasite Podcast at Gmail. And if you want, I'll share it on the channel as a Parasite Podcast review to get some of your reviews of the movie out there. And at this point, you can go ahead and send me spoiler-filled reviews because I'll start uploading these next week. So don't you don't have to worry about holding back on spoilers. Just try not to talk about the post-credit scene too much. because if, Or if you do, I'm just going to have to wait another week before I upload it uh, to the channel. So yeah, so if you have a review of Venom, Love to be Carnage, let me know what that is and send it to me in email. So thanks so much. We'll have another update a week from now. And then also a week from now, we'll have our post-credit scene spoiler discussion. We'll get a whole video on that uh, next week as well. So thank you so much for watching the show. Like, uh, like share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I'm so tired. Uh, Y'all have a good night. Peace.